guys, welcome back to another edition of Really Right State. I'm Clint Davis, sports editor at The Guardian. And I'm Andy Sedlak, the assistant news editor right here at The Guardian. And you know what? After a long afternoon of classes, a long day of uh, having your nose to the grindstone, That's right. we usually like to, uh, I don't know, stop off and get a beer, you know. Just something. stop off, get a couple cool ones, uh, just take the edge off. So let's go on down to the Rathskeller. And, uh, it's right here on campus. It's right here on campus. We'll just grab a quick brew, and we'll talk there, all right? There you go. That's all right. Talk shop. So here it is, the Rat Scout. It's right here in the basement of the student Make menu. sure you get a shot of this. This will be fun. We'll just go inside, get a quick brew. Oh, maybe you have to pull. Maybe you have to pull on that one. Maybe you should push it. No? No. Oh, that's right. Oh. They stopped selling alcohol at the Rathskeller somewhere in the last 10 years here at that's Wright right. State University, well before Andy and I were ever uh, set foot on this campus. So. That's right. So instead of having a bar on campus that students can walk to, uh, Wright State, you would prefer that we get in our cars and drive off campus for a long night of drinking. And then have to drive. And then, of course, you have to drive. Back. Back. Right. Or, or pay for a cab, which... Let's be honest. We'll pay for a cab. Those we'll find aren't... a designated driver. I think it's easier exactly. to find uh, to find Miss America than a designated driver some nights. Yeah, what they use this place for? Let me give you the list of what they say. They use it for concerts, oh. poetry slams, poetry slams. Yes, yeah, always a good time. Small talent shows, and uh, don't forget karaoke contests. Which, if I'm not mistaken, all of those things are things that you would do at a bar. At a bar. Right. So this is exactly like a bar, uh, minus the alcohol and. Yeah. Okay, we have arrived at the closest bar within walking distance from Wright State. This is One Eye Jacks. Um, in the car, it was just over a mile to get here. So, so that kind of gives you a good indication of, of course, the journey here, but the more importantly, the journey back tends to be even longer. Exactly. And, uh, you know, the, the further you walk, the longer you have to crawl, as they say. <laughs> That's right. And, uh, you know, there, there's two other bars right around here. W.O. Wrights and Tooties are That's also right. just about the same distance. It's just you're going to have to cross Colonel Glen Highway yep. either way unless you go to Tooties. And crossing Colonel Glen Highway when you're drunk as well, not exactly the safest move no. uh, at any time of the day. No, it is not. It does not spell out safe. And uh, walking back also more problems. I mean, it's, it's winter time right now. It gets uh, it gets fairly cold, very cold. Very correction. Uh, don't exactly want to be walking back in sub-zero temperatures. If there were a bar on campus, that'd be nice. Very nice. Really, right state? Really. Since Andy and I have been asking around about the Rathskeller and why they don't serve alcohol on Wright State University's campus anymore, the the reason that's been given to us largely has been because people say it's a dry campus and. Uh, you know, that since they made the changes, they don't allow alcohol on campus anymore. But we heard from a very reliable source in the student services office that at certain on-campus events, they on actually campus do. Yeah, on right. campus. You know, we're not right. talking off campus. On campus, they right actually here. do serve alcohol. So, <clears throat> really, right State? I mean, really. Really. Um, yeah, we've been told that uh, at the Arts Gala, they'll serve champagne. And also, uh, they'll do the same at other COLA events. So, really, I guess what we're asking for is just a little equality. Uh, we can't have alcohol on campus. We can't access any kind of alcohol on campus. They shouldn't be able to either. Uh, if they want to consume alcohol, how about do it off campus like what we have to do? Students are the ones that pay the tuition and have to go to class That's right. and, and you know uh, bust their butt all day long. That's so. right. So I guess at the end of the day, uh, all we're asking for is just really a little consistency. You know what, Andy? I'll drink to that. Cheers, Rice State. Thank <laughs> you.